Cuba. I've been studying flamenco for six months. My name is Andres. I started like six months ago. My name is Denise Loez. I have been studying flamenco dance for three weeks now. My name is Hitana. I've been studying flamenco shy of a year. My biggest fear was coming into a class full of teenagers and 20-somethings. We've got young people, we've got older people, we've got everybody, we've got people who've studied other forms of dance, people who don't know their left and their right. We've got them all. And it's the community is very, very forgiving, very embracing of everybody. Flamenco is in a way very different to other dance I've done before. The passion is very, very strong. Sometimes other other dance are maybe for dancing, for I don't know, for, for recreation, to have fun, like fun stuff. But flamenco is, is just the explosion of passion. I did a salsa dancing. And I enjoyed that very much. But um, as I got older and the music got faster and the men got younger and wanted to do something that I thought was more appropriate for my age. Uh, I had that feeling that like I can't dance at all and like don't even try. But in that January it was like right after New, New Year because I was so far away from family. I was just by myself. So I decided to go like just in the last minute and um, yeah, I'm so happy that I made that move. I've always wanted to dance flamenco. It was one of those things that I used to see. And even though everyone said I was a great dancer, my parents were great dancers. They used to always dance together, and I learned from them. And I never felt like I was a great dancer because I could never dance flamenco. It was always one of those things. It almost seemed unreachable. By the day of our performance, before I got on stage, I remember feeling really, really nervous and uh, thinking I was going to forget everything. And then as soon as uh, we got on stage and I started to dance, I almost felt like I was possessed. And it got to the point that uh, I remember doing our first step and I yelled. And I apologized to my teacher afterwards and she said, no, Kiva, that's fine. And she says, oh, whenever flamenco dancers are going to do something, they always say like a yell, that's a normal thing, it comes from inside. So that's when I really felt like I could say that I was a dancer. Having a musician in class really brings everything together. You're doing your footwork, you're doing your arm work, and you're watching the teacher, but listening to the work music. Together. Flamenco is just not one thing, it's a component of many things. So having the music in the class, having Greg in the class is absolutely amazing. And Juana's excellent. If you don't understand it this way, she'll explain it that way, she'll demonstrate it this way, she'll demonstrate it. Her intent is to make sure that everybody in her class grasps the essence of what she's trying to get across. She's an excellent teacher. Excellent. Excellent. Did I say excellent? <laughs> she's experienced, she's passionate, she's patient, she's funny. She makes the, the journey very easy. You're just like trying to do it for fun and like finally something great coming up. Uh, I think that it might it looked difficult, especially for the first time, and for the second and the third, it always looked difficult. But just don't give up, because like finally, after some time, you're just gonna enjoy. It's gonna give you a great energy, and it's just gonna bring the passion, the fire into your life.